This is a vehicle uh, near the Yanov train station that we were told was used to disassemble uh, the town of Kapachi, which is the, one of the closest towns to the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And here is another vehicle uh, purportedly used for the same purpose. I have a CDV 700 probe closed uh, mounted on this Geiger counter. And uh, we will check the treads of this vehicle for activity. We're picking up something here. Yeah. Okay. We have something radioactive here. The activity is in these treads. You can see we have the probe closed. We're on the times 100 scale. We're measuring almost, eh, there we go, 20,000 counts per minute. Again, probe closed. So if you do the calculation, this comes out to somewhere in the vicinity of 30 to 40 millirentgens per hour of gamma rays, almost certainly all due to cesium-137. Let's go take a look at the other vehicle. So we'll walk back around this way to where some of the uh, treads are exposed. And our, uh, our guide here has informed me of a spot here that's quite radioactive. I should point this out. Yeah, if you just want to hold that and move it close. There we go, now we can see the screen. And we are, um, we are on the times 100 scale. So there we go. Right in this area, right here, down in that tread. We are off scale and that would be 80 millirentgens per hour. So we're probably in the vicinity of 100, but let's, uh, let's just check a little work closely. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe just over 100 millirentgens per hour. And again, these vehicles were, we were told, were used to disassemble the uh, town of Kapachi in the aftermath of the accident.